So I've been here on Table Rock this week, and I love coming over here. I come over here every summer, usually once in the spring, and then I'll come over sometimes in the fall too. But I just like to come over here and do something different. Obviously, they have spotted bass. We don't get to fish for those a lot at home. Um, but what I really like to do is come over here in the summer and chase suspended fish. And it, just because it's something different, um, I get to interact with fish, watch them kind of react. And I used to always do that on sonar, 2D sonar, and then you got down scan, and then... Now we've got live scope, so I really wanted to come over this summer and play with it. So what I've done this week is I've gone with basically a 3 8 ounce swim bait and getting on live scope and getting out in front of docks and backs of pockets, out in the middle of pockets over trees and just kind of feather around and look for pods of bait, look for fish pushing bait. When I find that, then I've been, um, I've been taking this little swim bait on a 3 8 ounce head and casting out ahead of those fish letting it get down to their level, reeling it real slow over the top of them. And then if I get a fish to start committing to it, then I'll speed up my retrieve. Usually you can get that fish to commit. So if he, if you can get that fish to chain, you know, turn his head and come towards the bait and change speed, like dart at it, usually you just, all you gotta do is just kick up a notch. Not real fast, just speed up a little bit from what you have been, like you're trying to get away. Cause I think that's what these fish think. They think that uh, they got these pods of bait fish out here that they're herding around and they, they bust a shad off by himself. Because if you've ever seen one come up on the surface in school, that's exactly what he's doing. He's, he's got one shad and he's pinned it to the surface and he's on it until he gets that fish. So I think this little swim bait's the perfect representation on that. So you can get out here on these suspended fish, chase them with your live scope, and then you can um, take the swim bait and, you know, cast past where you see them on the screen, let it get down to their level, watch your bait fall, get it to their level, and then start whining over the top of them. I like to keep it over the top of them. I think that's more effective. Um, I've played with a variety of baits this week. This happens to be a 3 8, 3 8 ounce um, Scottsboro Tackle Hellfire Finesse Swim Bait Head. Um, that's a three and a quarter inch uh, Exo Swim. Uh, that's in the fighter shad color, and that's been a real good combination. That 3 8 ounce head allows me to get down to the fish's level and then also give me speed. So, I, you know, with a quarter ounce, I've caught some fish this week with some quarter ounce, different little swim baits on there. Um, but usually those fish were up higher when with the quarter ounce, when you need to get it down there 20, 25 foot, you've got to reel it so slow to stay at that level. If you'll get a little, little swim bait on a bigger head, I've even gone up to a half ounce head. I took like a half ounce boxer jig and put a four inch swim bait on it and, and fished closer to the bottom down there in like 30 foot of water. And that was a good combination. I've caught a bunch of spotted bass, caught some big largemouth. I was really surprised at the big largemouth I caught um, suspended out in front of docks on dock cables, um, herding bait, round brush. Um, but I see those fish up off of the cover, up off of the bottom. And, and you know, with live scope and a little small swim bait, that's kind of become my go-to for suspending fish. Um, I played with several different um, varieties of swim baits. Um, I tried some small ones. That's the 2.8 inch Kai Tech on a little quarter ounce ball head. Uh, that's the new one from, that's a new VMC finesse swim bait head. Um, and a three inch Largo shad on there. You can see it's been chewed up pretty good. That was good for the fish that were up high in the water column, even those ones that were coming up on the surface in school and I caught a bunch of fish with that bait. Then of course the quarter ounce, three and a quarter uh, squadron head and raid shad. Um, great, great combinations. So, you know, like I say, these are all just, just mimicking shad because that's the thing with these, these uh, finesse fish these finesse swim bait fish you know that's basically the size of a shad this time of year it's gonna only it's only gonna be two three four inches long at the most um and they're chasing those around and again you want to mimic what they're chasing around okay they busted up a school of shad now they've got the one bait by itself and they they're gonna you know if you can get him to change speed and go after it and he thinks he can pin it to the surface he's gonna usually commit to that bait so i've caught most of my fish this week doing that um, i think it's a great technique
speed is your friend. Everybody thinks you throw a swim bite out there and just crawl it as slow as possible. And that, the reason you do that normally is to keep bottom contact. I don't do that when I'm fishing for suspended fish. I want to get kind of in their zone and then I want to, I want to speed up and take it away and I can see them on live scope. So when I know I'm in their zone and I see one turn and start coming to my, my swim bait, I speed up. And if he keeps coming and get and starts closing the distance, I speed up more. So now he really has to go. Now he's fully committed, and that's what makes him bite. I've caught, I've caught my limit this morning of good keepers. I've probably got maybe 15 pounds in largemouth doing this. Um, I'm on Table Rock. I, this is the second morning I've been out. I kind of went around yesterday and just saw what level the bait was at, kind of where are the fish suspending, what's the water level, what's the current doing, and then so I kind of made a game plan based on that, but that's that's as simple as it gets. Um, see them on your electronics. If you see the fish committing to the lure, then speed the lure up and try to almost, you're almost playing keep away with it. Obviously, the further out, the better it is because if they're too close to the boat, you run out of space and they'll, they'll quit uh, chasing. They'll kind of turn off because they see the boat, but that's a nice one. We'll get him back in the water. This is a, I've got the Shimano SLX DC reel. It's got 12 pound fluorocarbon line on it. Um, like I said, I've stuck mostly, I, you know, I've caught some fish on the other size ones too, but I've stuck mostly with the three and a quarter exoswim and the fighter shad color and a three eighth ounce. Um, that's a Scottsboro Hellfire finesse head. I like these ball heads that you can screw the swim bait on. About the only thing that'll mess this bait up, now this one's got twisted up from a few fish. I actually need to take it off and re-rig it, but um, they'll grab the tail and pull your tail off because, you know, they can't pull the bait off, but they will pull the tail off the swim bait. And that's for those short strikers. That's what you got to worry about. But, um, but yeah, so that's my setup. Uh, the rod is, I think this is actually a, lighter jig worm rod it's a 7.1 uh, g loomis imx pro it's a jig worm rod but i really like the tip on this um because these these are little finesse swim baits i want to be able to load the rod enough to just make a little short roll cast or you know maybe i want to bomb it out there so i need a rod with a little bit of tip to throw this little light bait a good reel that'll throw a long ways light line to get the bait down quick um, but then this rod has, you know, it has jig worm backbone. So it, I am still fishing a swim bait. I still want to hit those fish hard and, and keep them locked up. So a lot of times when you're fishing out in front of docks, you got dock cables and other things to worry about. So you want to be able to turn the fish's head and get him coming your direction um, and control the fight pretty early. Um, so this rod, I don't, you know, obviously it's not made for doing this. They're actually coming out with a rod that's perfect for this. I don't have one yet. so. This is the rod that I'm using right now. I'll probably switch to that finesse swim bait rod here pretty quick, but um, yeah, this is a great setup. And so, like I say, a seven foot rod, you know, medium heavy with some good tip. Um, three eighth ounce is what I like. Uh, you can get away with a quarter ounce if they're up high. The problem with the quarter ounce is you, you have to reel it so slow down there at depth. With three eighth ounce, you can reel it a little faster. So um, anyways, I hope that helps you. Um, it's a it's a way that I love to catch them. Um, it's super effective for suspending fish. You know, like I say, stay off of them, reel the bait above them. If you you know if you've got live scope, watch the fish. If you see them turning and coming after the bait, speed it up, speed the bait up. They speed up, speed it up some more. Usually, you're going to get a commit when that happens.